Okay. So just recap. Here we are. This portion of my head. Yes, I have done a little bit more work since you last saw me. I did another extra like kind of row up here and another row right here. But like that's not much. Um, and I did that when I technically wasn't supposed to be doing it. It's like my lunch break. I don't know. But anyways, I did. And now, I'm going to show you guys how to do the three-point, um, what do you call it? The three-point rotation. <laughs> um, I mean, these front ones, it's kind of like not the best location for me to show you because... Quite frankly, I sometimes redo just the front of my hair, so there's not a lot of new growth there at all. But anyways, we go front to back. Up. Then back, front to back. If there was enough room, I would then go down. But there's not. This is tight now. I'm not going to go again and, like, hurt myself. So, let's see if I can find another looser one to actually, like, show you guys better. This, in my opinion, is what I would call, like, being halfway done. Obviously, it looks like more than half of my hair is done. But, uh... But considering that, like, I have so many locks, I consider this about the halfway point. Those are not stuck together, are they? No, they're not. You know what? I should come back when I find some new girls. Oh, here's some. Never mind. Okay. So, just to show you guys, here is about a finger space of new growth. This is about how much growth I let my hair have before I interlock it. So, right there, through the needle. Then, because there, like, looks like there's a little gap there, that tells me not to go back in that direction. Tells me that's probably the last direction I went. So instead, I'm going to go where it looks like there's two pieces. One up, one down. I'm going to go down ways or up ways. Either one would work. But I'm going to go down ways because in the front sections here, this is the way I kind of do my redo, my retightenings. So down ways, then back ways. Then up ways. I just attached those. Oops. Then back ways again. Then down ways again. Is that tight enough? I'm going to go back ways again. Okay, I'm going to try to do it again one more time. Try and get up in this camera lens. Hopefully you guys will be able to see really well. Here I'm just clearing away any extra loose hairs. I really don't want it to get attached to anything else. If you are not as brave as me, not as willing to rip literally hairs apart, you should clip it. Put a clip here to separate these so that you don't mess them up. And a clip underneath to separate these from it too. And a clip at top to hold away the flyaways, right? And then thread it right. Start going. Make sure you guys can see. I'm gonna start going down ways. Then back ways. Then up ways. Then back ways again.
Then down. And that'll be for me as tight as I want it to get. So now, see, nice clean part, nice clean part, cleaning her up. All right, hopefully that's helpful. I don't really know, you know, I can't see the camera and see my face at the same time because, I mean, I know some people have like expensive or um, eccentric, you know, different setups so that they can see exactly what's on the screen so they can give you the ultimate like viewing experience but unfortunately I just have the one camera and no extra monitor so I can't really see what I'm doing while showing you what I'm doing um so I really hope that this is helpful for somebody you can comment below let me know if there's something I could have done differently to help you um but anyways, yeah, that's my three-point rotation. Um, if I find any super skinny ones, then I will come back on camera to show you a two-point rotation that I do for the really, really tiny ones. Hey there, I just changed my clothes. This is not, this is not a new day. I just changed my clothes from the last scene where I was wearing, what was I wearing? What the hell was I wearing? What did I wear today? A denim uh, dress. Uh, so, yes, anyways, it's not a new day, but I decided to stop here, not for any particular reason other than I don't, uh, feel like continuing, I'm pretty tired, so I decided to stop here, but I, I say that just to let you know that, like, it is entirely possible, not, like, out of, not crazy to think of, not crazy to imagine, that I could have totally finished the rest of my hair tonight. I just chose not to. I chose to spend about two hours on it. Maybe you could even say just like one and a half if I had been working continuously. Just doing a couple more rows on the side here. A couple more rows here too. That's it. Um, but tomorrow for sure, for sure, I'm really going to finish. And I will film that for you just so that you don't, you know, don't feel like I left you hanging. I don't know why your hairs are trying to stick up. Anyways, so tomorrow I will finish the rest of my hair. I'll film that for you just so you can see the end result. Um, you can see how my hair transformed in the front, you know. It was super frizzy around here, and now it's super clean. I'll try and show you a before and after shot, and I'll show you my surprise that I said that I have coming for you at the end of this video. Because um, I did say yesterday that I did something to my hair, and I wanted to show you guys at the end of this video. So, I will do that. Alright, you guys. Here is the final look. I am filming this now in my bed because, you know, I'm a bit too uh, lazy to set back up my tripod, but, uh, and uh, can you see the surprise that I was telling you about? The thing that I changed, the different thing, the obvious different thing right here, I added side bangs. I cut the front of my hair into side bangs. What do you think, guys? I don't like it. <laughs> uh, you know, like when you're in quarantine and you get up in the mirror and you're like, hmm, I wonder. And then you get a pair of scissors and then you're like, no, 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 I'll regret it. I won't do it. I did that about five times and then I finally cut it. regret it I do I do I do I don't like it um, I don't hate it you know it's not like super super ugly or anything but um, unfortunately uh, 
it is super super ugly if I let it just lay flat the way it wants to lay I have to actually put curlers in it at night and uh, I like to sleep on my stomach so that's not good for me but sleeping on your stomach is bad for your back so this is fate trying to fix that bad habit of mine I guess anyways uh, I'm, I'm also getting a little bit of unraveling at the bottom where I cut it. Can you see that? Can you see that? This should not be all fuzzy like that. But it is because I cut it and it started unraveling upwards. So, uh, I do regret it. I know like um, a lot of people will get on here and they'll like talk about their new hair and they'll be like, I love it. Oh my God, it doesn't matter what you think because I love it. <laughs> But I don't, I don't like it. I did make a mistake. While you are in quarantine, people, don't, don't make any sudden decisions to cut your hair. It, it does grow back though. I mean, it's not the end of the, the world, you know, I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> but I do wish I didn't cut it. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I mean, and then here's the other thing, is that originally I was imagining myself with, like, actual bangs, like, actual, like, straight across bangs, but I was too wimpy to go that, that short, so I went with long bangs, like, side bangs, and, um, if I didn't just retie my hair, I would probably be wearing it, you know, sideways, like, side bangs, you know? This, this was the... That hurts though because I just retied my hair so I need to let it be a middle part for a while but that ouch was the that's the look you know that I'm gonna be rocking for a while um, I did want straight across bangs fringe and part of me is like well why don't you just go ahead and cut what you originally wanted since you don't like this anyway but then the other more logical part of me is like but if I don't like that too now it's going to take even longer to grow back. So, hopefully I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I say hopefully because I'm also pretty impulsive. And when something is like circling in my head for a long time, I can't help but do it. And I would always rather regret something I did to myself rather than regret something someone else did to me. Um, I say that all the time. Like, that's the reason I don't go see professionals to do my hair anymore because I'm going to be pissed off if I spend money to have someone do something to my hair and then I don't like it. I'm going to be pissed. But if I do something to my hair and I don't like it, I'm going to regret and not be pissed because eh, my fault, my bad, whatever, you know? There's no one else to blame but me. <laughs> so... I don't remember the point uh, I was trying to make whatsoever other than don't do this if you're not me. Um, it's just one of many things that I advise you guys that uh, you should do as I say not as I do, okay? Don't give yourself sudden bangs unless you're sure that's what you want. Um, I don't like it. So bye! <laughs>